If there was a beef DI movie, who would be the stars of it? Yes, I ask myself that in my ancient cobblestone keep every day. So in this video, I will be casting the perfect ensemble for the beef DI movie. Also, make sure to like and subscribe. 71% of you guys aren't. I'll find you. So I think that Blocky would be Dean Norris. Dean Norris usually gets casted as cop character, so most notably in Breaking Bad as Hank Schrader. In that show, his character is like a wisecracking DEA agent who sounds like Hank Schrader here with a roast of EDP. So given Blocky's character, I feel like this casting makes a lot of sense. Now, Bubble is a silly character, but she also has her moments where she can be emotional. That's why I think Bubble is Phyllis Smith. You might recognize her as Phil's Vance from The Office and Sadness from Inside Out. Again, this is just one of those picks where I just think like the voice fits the character perfectly. Kind of queenie, but he's a quick-witted, sly guy, you know? He He's easy to crack jokes all the time, so my mind went to him being casted as a comedian. In my opinion, Coiny would be Jerry Seinfeld. Both of them make the jokes. Both of them are, you know, relatively normal around the other people in their respective shows. And we can't forget the time where Coiny played the Seinfeld riff in an episode of FDIA. <coughs> okay, out of all the contestants, and David was probably like the hardest to cast. So I think David would be uh, Drake, the rapper. You might know him from his casting as Ethan the Mammoth from Ice Age. Now. I know this one might seem a little strange, but you must understand my reasoning. Both of them grew up in very weird places, you know, David and David Land and Drake in Canada. And you cannot deny that this audio right here makes Drake the perfect choice. Aw, uh, seriously? Okay, now Eraser has a very low pitched, yet he has a like, super muscular voice. Now, Eraser would be Dave Bautista. Dave Bautista is a wrestler, but he also does some acting. Most people might recognize him for his role as Drax the Destroyer. Some of these picks are going to make way more sense than others, but I think this is just one of the castings where I genuinely think it's a really good casting. This is this is one of them. <laughs> she just told everyone your deepest, darkest secret. You must be so embarrassed. I feel like the BFDI movie's main lead would probably be fiery, so we'd want like an experienced leaning man. And I think that would be... Tom Holland. And look at that. We already have the casting for Fairy Jr. as well. Okay, Flower is Ice Spice. Originally, I casted Ice Spice as Match, which probably would have been a better fit in my opinion, but I thought of a way better casting for Match that you will see later on. Ooh. Um. This one, this one is hard because Golf Ball is such a unique character. It's like hard to, to cast a character like Golf Ball, but it's been decided that Golf Ball is Tara Strong. Tara Strong's in like everything, right? Like, I feel like this casting makes the most sense Hollywood-wise. Now, Ice Cube's voice is very, like, soft. So I think Ice Cube would be a good Ariana Grande. Aside from her career as a singer-songwriter, you might have remembered her role as Cat from Victorious. Her voice just feels, you know, very soft and delicate. Ice Cube, don't you think I look beautiful? <gasps> okay, Leafy is a pretty important character in BFDI. Therefore, she needs to be casted as someone who has had voice acting experience. And that's why Leafy is Aquafina. You might recognize her from a lot, like animated voice films for some reason. I don't know why. So it just, it just feels like a tradition, like cast a character with Aquafina, and it just happens to be Leafy. Okay, hear me out on this one. Match and Pencil would be the Olsen twins. But not like the Olsen twins now, where they're like grown up. I mean like when they were babies. You kids just don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Rest easy, Olsen twins. Rest easy. Okay, we're over halfway done with this video. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, because it helps a lot. This video is sponsored by Shimzo from Outer Space. A needle was one of the harder characters to cast, in my opinion, but after some thought, I think that Jamie Lee Curtis would be cast as a needle. I remembered her role in uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, where she was like this cranky tax company lady who later attacked the characters, like a battle. Yet you watch the movie, it's such a good movie. God. Anyway, so in the BFDI movie, I think Needle would like be called Needy, or like Jam Jamie Lee Curtis who plays Needle would like come up. Ow. Ow. 
Okay, Penn's a cool guy with a cool guy's voice, so I think Penn would be Owen Wilson. Truthfully, the main reason I casted Penn as Owen Wilson is because of this Beep the Eye to Humans art by uh, Chris Schweiker. But I feel like if you spent the whole day with Owen Wilson, it wouldn't be much different than spending the whole day with, like Penn. Okay, Pin, not to be confused with Penn, is a very clever, clever character. He's very sweet, but she can be like sassy sometimes. So I think that Pin would be a really good Zendaya. Now, in fact, I've already designed the perfect costume for Zendaya to wear in the movie. Alright, Rocky's casting might seem like a bit of a wild card, as the, the person that I picked has not appeared in a movie. But, I felt like Rocky would be I show speed. I mean, speed has personally shown appreciation to the character of Rocky, even saying that he would play him in a future BFDI episode, so stay tuned guys, it's coming soon. Oh my oxygen! I think a good casting for Snowball would be Kanye West. Yeah, I've got nothing else to say on this one. Okay, Spongy's voice is very deep, so we need to get someone who has like a very deep voice to voice Spongy. So that's why I decided Spongy is Keith David. And you might recognize his voice work from The Princess and the Frog, uh, Rick and Morty, uh, Amphibia. I feel like his voice is like such a good listen, and he, he gives a nice twist on uh, Spongy's usual deep and muffled voice. Well, of course you can, you can cast me. I won't, won't be mad or anything. I, I can do a good Spongy. Oh, hey guys, what's going on? I'm Spongy. No, stop it, guys. No, I, I can do better. No, don't do it. No. Okay, Teardrop was a hard choice for me, and she's like the only character that's never spoke. So, it only makes sense that Teardrop would be... Tabby Lay. Now, if you don't recognize the name, you might recognize his viral TikToks of him reacting to life hacks. You know, Cobby Lane has that silent, stoic charisma, and I think it would make a perfect fit for Teardrop. Okay, this one I picked, you know, less on the character and personality, but like, more, more of the voice. I mean, it seems clear to me that Tennis Ball would be Zach Hadel. You may recognize his voice from his appearances in the Oni Plays videos as Charlie from Smiling Friends. And the two of them have like really nasally monotone voices. I, I think it's a perfect match. This is one of those castings where I just think it's perfect. What? You can't replace me. I'm the team leader. TP, do something. You kissed your dad in the mouth? Okay, Woody was the very first character that I casted while making this video. I'm not, I'm not saying Woody's my favorite character. I think Woody would be a great Michael Sarah. Sarah? Sarah? Whatever. He's usually casted as, you know, offbeat, awkward characters. And, you know, Michael Sarah, you're not safe. You're gonna be cast as Woody in the BFI movie. You excited? Uh, you know what? He just left. All right, lastly, we have the announcer. I mean, obviously, you'd want someone with a deep, deep voice. For the announcer because he's such an important intimidating character in the bvi canon and that's why we're casting him as brian cranston now you might recognize brian cranston's voice from breaking bad his role in seinfeld um oh, and his role as hal in Malcolm in the middle which is a great show by the way but i feel like his role as walter white has you know redefined him as less of a comedy actor and more like a, a serious actor you know so that's why i picked brian cranston all right, that's gonna be the end of this video. So just let me know in the comments what your favorite casting has been. If this video does well, I'll do one for BFDIA. Make sure to check out BFDR Wars 6 and stay tuned for episode seven. It's coming really soon. Uh, I'm streaming every week, so make sure to check out the channel every Tuesday. All right, I will see you gup juicers next time.